Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 where, oh well not where, the Citadel has been under attack by Cerberus and we will now, I am in a completely new session I have to admit so I don't Understand, remember, if I'm utterly bloody honest, what we have to do. But we are gonna find our way through the Citadel pretty damn quickly and see what we have to do. Right? That is at least the plan. We had a little bit of action the last time and took down some agents. And there should be what we already see a My lot of. Active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course, you're in the ocean. Yes. Forces have killed the last invading forces. Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? After obtaining a cure for the genophage, Krogan leaders have announced an alliance with the Trinity Attack against the Reapers. Vector status recognized. Please select a destination. The world will keep burning. Yeah, we are going to go to the hospital since there might be some clues what to do next too. Now arriving at Quip no, Memorial I'm seeing it Hospital. here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood and we don't have enough on the team. Even we get the rings of the moon from the Salian Nebel. Having losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tip Tree and Zeus Hope are hit by Reaper forces. Zeus Hope, I remember that name. And I'm, um, I, forgive me if I am taking a little look around here. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes, and I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies for those without credits. Yeah, can I help Exactly. You? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel syndrome. At its worst, Keprel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. 
Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Vane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Kalahira, <coughs> mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Yet? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Did I? It was a, a kind of a set moment. Okay, I say then, let's crack on. So we are then gonna go to the Presidium and see if we find any sort of conversation opportunity we were deployed there. to take it's a small human colony we, were supposed we to lost our shepherd here lost a friend specter status recognized one moment please and a well yeah hero someone who helped out now arriving obviously. at presidium commons and was a companion I thought of something. and the last parts it's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel defense. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here, you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need overcharging for goods. Denying refugees. And then I think we are gonna return to. If we do not find anything more to do here, we're gonna obviously go back to the Normandy and see what we are and where we are gonna go next. Okay good, General Uraka. So it was good to actually get here and see what is to do. Commander Shepard. General Uraka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now, reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. 
Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Hmm. Map updated. Okay, Kanik. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take them to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the Council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know, but second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay, that'd be something. Yep, that would be something. I totally agree. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for CSEC too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Okay, so that's how it goes on with this quest. We are gonna find things in the... Oh no, I'm just to save the galaxy. And then we have more access to his weapons or to better shelves and then we can give those weapons to him Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for csec i'm putting together a task force to stop the blue suns myself i'll get you your weapons general i appreciate the effort but i've spent too much time out of action commander won't be able to sit on That was everything here. There's only one more thing to do. We can actually go up those stairs and see if there is more here or something else to do. This is a dead end. Let's just take one more glance on this side before we turn around. Those well, doors are not going to open up since, well, not since, sit, well, yes, yeah, since is kind of good as well. We do not have anything else to do here. Now back to the elevator. There's nothing else there. And before we get. Normandy is going to be something. Please select a destination. One moment. It's then gonna be something, by the way, for the next episode. Do he have we been in the bar? Purgatory. There, some might yeah. be it's almost gone. a conversation up ahead with not Liara. This might be for the last seconds of this episode. Worth a check. Somewhere she is, if she actually has anything to say to us, it seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, 
I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. I hope this isn't a social visit. We still have work to do around here. Are the Blood Pack falling in line? With Grill in charge? Where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Yeah. And that you guys bring us right now then already to the end of this episode. We will obviously go back to the Normandy in the next episode, but we still have one or two locations to quickly go through. I guess not too, ma too, too many conversations are gonna get, so to say, in our way before returning to the Normandy. But for now, that Spectre actually status. already Recognize. brings us here. And the embassies we have we've been coming from, right? To the end of this episode, and you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a tinsy little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.